kind of player is this guy? What makes him so special? Very determined, very driven. Uh, he's competitive, doesn't want to lose. At a young age, I was in a project, much like everybody else, project kid, just trying to make it out right now. But what helps me more right now is that my story was crazy. Like Nobody know the meaning by why I act and how I act. Because hope if he misses this first one right here. He misses it. Rebounded by Henry. Porsche gives it off to Arsenal. Arsenal! Oh, it's oh, it's 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 oh, Are you kidding me? Before that, all this happened, Terrence hit a fadeaway three-pointer to go overtime. And we, we took the lead away on overtime, but it was, it was down by three. So that's when Jay stole the ball. He jumped on top of it. Dude jumped on top of it. Ref didn't call nothing. He gave him the ball back. So that's when we told, well, I don't know if Quay was right there, but we told Scotty to step up. Scotty was acting chippy, a little, a little jumpy. Get it into Arsenal. Arsenal for the win! He shot it, and it went in. This game is over! Holy cow! Arsenal! I couldn't cry though. I couldn't cry. It was a tough loss, but I couldn't cry because I was coming back next year for it. So. Jason on the air here from Factory TV with Arterio Morris. Arterio, you're going to be transferring to the high school uh, this upcoming year and teaming up with Keontae George. Got <laughs> 
This game very controlled, uh, very poised, crazy man. I'm super crazy with it. Uh, way bigger than I expected, but he just got a nice game overall. Do you think he'll do good in the, in the next level? For sure, without sure? a doubt. Yeah, something I didn't expect. Uh, he way taller in person, <laughs> way taller. Uh, what I would say that, that's the main thing, really tall. Yeah, yeah that's the most important. Fresh meat. You need a fresh one. The home, the home gym. That shit, hella super. Is this everyone? Nah, some of them. Some of them. Chauncey got COVID. Are you a sophomore? That's even worse. <laughs> you gotta wait till a freshman come in. Nah, man, buddy. Bad boy. Oh, man. man. Put it on your shoulder. Give you some more. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, from elementary, I went to I went to Bird Middle School, and Coach Ford, the one that worked at Dungerville, he's a new coach. He was a coach at Bird. We were undefeated there because like we worked like <laughs> he made us. I say if it wasn't for Coach Ford, like I wouldn't be basketball ready, you know, because he ran us a lot. He worked us out a lot. We ran 20, like we ran 24/7, like we did chase the rabbit and all this and that. So from elementary, we went from we went undefeated in basketball and football because he was the head coach for basketball and football. So from elementary, it was crazy. I was a demon. I couldn't shoot or nothing, but everybody know I had hops. So every time I dunked the ball, every crowd got lit. And I say I went from Bird to Duncanville. I played football there for one year, uh, but I didn't play basketball at at Bird. I mean at uh, at Dungaville, I went to Lincoln. I played Dungaville. I played basketball at Lincoln. I think I was on JV because I came there late when the basketball season started. 
I was really just the same thing. I couldn't shoot, was a dunker. The AAU came around. I started working out with a whole bunch of teams to see what I best fit at. That's when I went into pro. I went into pro skills first with Coach Kevin. Then from there, I went into to Showtime. I say from Showtime, everything was everything was solid because I was playing with Coach Ron at first before I started playing with Big E. So after all that, Big E finally took me in. This is this is the this is my I think my freshman year. And after that, my sophomore year came in. I rolled and I went to Kimball. Man, Kimball was my sophomore year. At Kimball was crazy. You know, I was one of the kids that stand out. I was a cool guy at school. Uh, everybody knew me because of basketball. I say I blew up who fetch. Caught two well, uh, caught one body. The second body I missed, but you know it was just it's a far distant jump. I say then I turn around and I went from, I was playing with Big E that this year. So this was my junior year. My junior year going into to Kimball. We lost to Beaumont last year. And the year before that we lost to Langster. So we lost to a buzzer beater, two back to back from Terrence. Crazy shots, I mean, it's tough. It was, that was two tough shots back to back to do. AAU wise, from, from losing to Beaumont, this whole AAU season, I was just, I was lit, I was turned. And I say from AAU to my senior, it's my senior year now, so I just gotta complete what I've been trying to complete for three years, for two years actually. My sophomore and junior year, after I can be classified as a state champion, going to, going into UT, just, it'd be crazy. So that journey was tough, but I mean, it was definitely worth it.
Uh, yeah, everybody has that. Everybody go through something, you know, as a kid. Everybody struggle. Everybody go through the struggle. Everybody go from house to house, you know, trying to find something that best fits them. But for me, I mean, it was hard growing up. I had to, like, walk to the court. I was young, so either my brothers had to walk with me or I couldn't go. But at a, at a young age, I was in the projects, mostly like everybody else, project kid, just trying to make it out right now. But what helps me more right now is that my story was crazy. Like nobody know the meaning by why I act and how I act because of everybody think it just I have a I have a gold role now. But as a young kid, you know, I didn't have this. I didn't have the talent. I didn't have the house, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have the friends to hang out with. I was just that one weird kid that I always had a basketball. I grew up with a basketball in my hand. You know, I say moms missed half of my life when I was a young kid, so I was living with my dad and my two brothers from shelter to shelter. So just right now, everything, I'm just happy because I persevered through all that and I got to where I'm at right now. Really my, really my brother, really, you know, because he, I say, I wasn't a, I wasn't a street life, I wasn't a thug, I wasn't, wasn't trying to be, but what really got me into hooping is just that from all my high school years, I fell in love with it, you know, it was something that I wanted to, it was something that I wanted to do growing up, like, as a, as a kid, I always wanted to play basketball, like, you ask my mom, I grew up with a basketball in my hand, like, Every time we went into Walmart or something, I always asked for a basketball. So what really got me into basketball is just my family, really. Just working out every day, getting, doing what I need to do. And our temperatures are a little bit warmer today as well. We're already sitting at 88 degrees around Dallas, Fort Worth, and it just feels like 89. So those dew points are still in that comfortable range. Moving only sitting at 43 percent. Big E was more of a father figure to me. You know, more of a father figure, uncle, anybody I can lean to. Like, he'll be up around like two or three o'clock in the morning, he'll just call me, we'll just have a good conversation from there. But, I mean, it was hard gaining, gaining Big E trust, you know, because I was that kid that liked to fight, uh, punch people at the end of the games and all this and that. And Big E helped me through that, you know, like, Big E trusted me, fell in love with me. 
like everything just went from there. Like every everything from him trusting me being on the team, from me becoming the team captain, from me being the leader, him trusting me from taking me to Kimball, and all this. But I say more of a he was more of a father figure, you know. It hurts to see somebody that was like really my best friend pass. I don't know, though. It's, it's crazy. Do you think this, uh, you're going to dedicate this year to the Heat as well? Do you think it's like a main factor? Yeah, this year is crazy. This year is going to go crazy. Because it's just somebody that I really love, you know? So, I mean, like, we got to. But, I mean, yeah, it is. this year is dedicated for him. What are you right now? For, uh, for, what? for Texas, like ranked. Probably right now, I think I'm like two. Thank <laughs> you. 
guy you into hooping? <laughs> uh, really my, really my brother, really, you know, because he, I say, I wasn't a, I wasn't a street life. I wasn't a thug. I wasn't, wasn't trying to be. But what really got me into hooping is just that from all my high school years, I fell in love with it. You know, it was something that I wanted to, it was something that I wanted to do growing up. Like, as a, as a kid, I always wanted to play basketball. Like, you can ask my mom. I grew up with a basketball in my hand. Like, every time we went into Walmart or something, I always asked for a basketball. So what really got me into basketball is just my family, really. Five hoop versus Terry, I'm going kill him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Check ball, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, man. Slow up, Terry. Easy, man. I'm so loud. I swear to God, I'm with you. My turn. He done took. Come on, he done messed up. He done. And I got the forces on. I thought he jumped. Oh, hell no. Guard up, man. He can't shoot. Okay. Show me something. Guard up. What is so easy? Literally 80 something to 32. Got enough. Come on, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. 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 Come I just broke him in yesterday. What's he saying? No. Especially on track. It kills a grip. It kills a grip. Hell no. This is exactly how I ran. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we do. Damn. No, we is, close tomorrow. We doing, we doing the same thing. Hey, hey, hey. Track tomorrow. Hey, oh. oh my God. Oh, we supposed to, we, we were supposed to be in on. <laughs> you not even talking. Oh my God. He trying to rank up. He trying to hit 40. Tell Fat, let's go then. Don't tell me, let's go. Tell Fat, let's go. Who cousin is that is? Me, mine's or yours? That's his. Watch out. His name is Fat Hardaway. Watch out. Fat Hardaway. 
Go Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Come on, bro. Tell Pat. Pat, he's talking about Ontario. He's talking about I have Kobe's. His dad makes oh, own posits. Jay, right. he is Arterio Morris, bro. He's okay, okay. One okay. call, he's getting any Kobe. What are you talking Penny about? Hardaway's your dad. You just had the. You just had twenty sixes on. Okay, and what are you talking your about? Your dad owns phone posits. No, they aren't phone posits. They're Kobe's. Those no, phone posits. Wait. Oh, Jay, get him. Oh, no, 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 get him. Get him. All right, come on. Hey, fat, come on, bro. You, you talking too much. Ron, you riding with them too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bro. Don't even bring the box of gloves. I want to know the blackest thing you ever said all day. We got food at the crib. Who says that? You're not a parent. Oh, yeah, of course. You got what? Hey, B, can we leave? Appreciate that. Hey, how tall you? 6'1"? Yeah. Hey, look, you can't even fight. Look, your mom's looking. Ooh. Your mom. Ooh. She watching. Ooh. Ooh, she's staring hard. Ooh. Ooh. Who got a fight? She heard fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a fight? Run over fight. there fighting. Run over there fighting. Throwing up gang signs. That's too loud. Come on, man. Let's go. Yeah, get choked. Hey, man. I thought you were coming up. I can't, bro. Y'all got yeah, no way for you. Until so they start trapping. Two ways, you ready? That's right. Terrio. <laughs> Terrio. So put that on guy, y'all don't work on trap defense. Okay. They, what? Y'all work, work on that every We're day. We're not trapping. Every, every time I play it. Every, that's not working. That's not working. <clears throat> we see what happens to the, the JV. <clears throat> I'm not them. It don't matter. <clears throat> the JV. Oh, yeah. Seventh grader dunking. Ain't no, ain't no little kid dunking. Oh man. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have seen him. I recruited him. Well, I guess we could say that when he was at Lincoln, his freshman year. Oh yeah. And um, you know, he was super, super talented, obviously. But everybody knew about him. But it was kind of, kind of some of the. Knucklehead stuff he was doing with this. He's 15. Were you 15? <laughs> 15 year old stuff. So I was like, hey, I don't know. So I don't, I don't know the kid. I heard he can play. I seen it from my own eyes. Who told me to go see you play, though? What? Somebody told me to go see you play. Quay, Quay. One of his, one of his best friends told mm -hmm. me to go see him. Quay told me. And uh, I was like, man, I don't really know. I don't really care about what everybody's saying about you. I'm going to just take my chance on you. So. Is whatever. That's what I be telling them, everybody, man. Now y'all on this wagon. At first, y'all didn't want to fool with him. <laughs> now everybody on this wagon, so that's why you know, he kind of keeps people at a distance. Yeah. What I said, I did Everybody say mentality, but it's really, it's just, I wouldn't say skill-wise either, it's just what I've been through, you know, that's what separates me from a lot of players because I know what it took and what it, what I needed to do to get here, so I just say from everything, just me growing up, I say the struggle. Yeah. Um, what's your mentality on the court? League, I need to get, I need to get to the league. Either it's you stopping me or, you know what I'm saying, you helping me. But if I'm on the court with you, then most likely you stopping me from getting to the league. Don't really worry about rankings, you know. I'm a top five point guard now, but I wasn't really too much worried about rankings. You worry about rankings, then you're going to play. You're going to play down to where, like, people are like, mm, be all right. So I would say for people that's growing up and that's worried about rankings, don't worry about it because eventually you'll get ranked but it's not going to be no high rank. And if you're worried about rankings, then you don't, you know what I'm saying?
Yeah. You don't have to go to no big time school. You don't have to worry about no rankings. You just gotta just hoop, work out every day, have a great mentality. Everything falls in place from there. Ah, get it. Ah. Make sure, sure that part too. You, you can put yeah. that on there. Yeah, put yeah. that on there. All right. Make sure you put this like when you look. Make sure when you see the when you had it is out. Just put a mouse down there. Cause it's bad right here. Time for the show. Don't miss. Don't miss this shot. Don't miss. Punch that. You're better. <laughs> Boom on him. That's it. Yeah. Too easy for him. Yeah.
That's something that I've been I've been hoping for, wishing for, and really just take care of the people that took care of me. Best shooter right here. 
Best shooter. Best shooter where? Anywhere. I might. No, not here. <laughs> In my house. No bad. I didn't even say no. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it has to be me, like. How many times? I can't even count on my finger. Oh, uh, okay. Probably like what? I don't know, but you just be uh, like, like, just uh, gonna open that for me. Yeah. You got, you got the wave room. Yeah. Uh, the game. Hockey table. Okay. This is a special room right here. This is a special room. Yeah, this is a, this is a room right here. We got the movie room. Damn. Uh, we got the woods jersey. You play 2K in here? No, 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 no. I play 2K out right there. Uh, we got the top 100 jersey right here. Panko's jersey. My dog, Jayla. It's a big dog. Nah, you haven't seen the other one. The other one bigger than that one. I don't miss you. Wait, so are you here like most of the time? Yeah, this is like, this, this is my, this my godparents' house, so this is where I be. Oh, most okay. Of the time, yeah. Ain't got no TV in here. Just, no TV in here? Nah, no TV in here. I just be, it's just, come in, you come in, uh, I work out, I start quick, I'm gonna show you I start quick. I work out, and. That's it? That's it. Right. I lift weights. Oh yeah, RP Mamba, you know the vibes, you know. The goat. Kobe, we got Kobe and Jordan on the same picture, kind of blurry. Yeah, we got Kobe. Cause over here we look, we look big, we look big, we look big. Kobe, Kobe right over here. That's that's all it is to it, just straight, straight Kobe. It's the, it's the honest truth. I'm the, I'm the second best shooter in the house. We can play 50 right now. Time to start? Yeah. This probably was a bad idea. Damn. Let me take the jacket. Let me take Ah, Mama. Mama, come on. Let me take the jacket. Let me take it. Start up, start up, start up, start up. Start up. You got it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nah, always I'll make in, my always shot. In the always in the middle. Always in the middle. Oh my god! On a jacket? Tell me you didn't. Tell me you didn't. You got some on it, I can't. <laughs> Not on the Texas jacket. That's crazy. I don't think he want, I don't think he like Texas. He can't beat me, he goes to the middle. What are you talking about, bro? He went to the middle. Yeah. Let me go to the middle. Let me go to the middle. I am right. Yeah? Ooh. Look at this side, just for you. How long have you been out here? About an hour. So you were here warm. Yeah. Damn. It's a bucket. Like that, he's been out here for an hour though. He's been out here for an hour. It don't matter. Yeah, you just had practice. Ooh. You got one more. Man, you're about to lose him. That's that because Mamba peed on my jacket. Oh, that would have worked. Yeah. 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 You think it's kisses now? Mamba peed on my jacket. You making it? Yeah. 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 These. These. Best snacks. I put you on. <laughs> This is the second crib. This won't work out. Like, we're just in it. Oh. That's where we work out. We work out at. We're in the. We got the weight room. We lift weight. Lift weights. Uh, so what do you got tonight? Uh, we just got a, you know, the, just like everybody else, the blue and white scrimmage. Okay. Some small stuff. But this it is why I said, this is why I say I'm the best Kobe person. I got two pairs. Got coats. Got these. Pink. Oh, let me show you. Dang. Tell them, tell them, coach. We serious about our Kobe's. Oh yeah. Well, we got some. He got some explicit Kobe's. For him? Yes. He got the snakeskin ones. Snakeskin hot top.
you to oh, Timothy. Okay. <laughs> so he's a big Kobe fan. You, oh, we Kobe, Kobe. We Kobe really? fan. That's why I told you I can't choose Jordan right now because we all Kobe's. No. Just wait. Till, just wait. But you know what I'm really trying to get, though? Hmm. Try to get some more ease. Adam, my man, Adam. How you doing? You hooping it? You hooping it? Here he is, Adam. I feel like, you know what I was feeling earlier? I was like, what if nobody come to this? Nah, it'll be packed. <laughs> nobody come here, they just be like, they don't want to see us <laughs> play and shit. Like, Bro! Put your hands on me. We gonna have. Come hit me. Come hit me. Come hit me. I'm not gonna move either. Cause you know why? Got you on camera. I'm gonna do the opposite place. Yes. 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 The whole game, T. Hey, bro, T. The whole game. We got you. The whole game. Hey, the whole game. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Bro, we not, we not hey, doing this, this, bro. This, you did that. You did that. Right there. You, you got that? You got that, Jake? Look, look. Jake got that. He got that. He got that. I'm pressing charges. <laughs> You're not even getting in the game. Hey, that's all. Did you just hear him? <laughs> you just hear him? He's not, he's not, he's not even, even getting in the game. In the game. <laughs> hey, hey, that was not funny. I don't know. I gotta get dressed. You ain't. Hey, I'm not even getting in the game. You ain't 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 getting in the game. Everybody in white catches smoke. No cap. Yeah, yeah. 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 Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna shoot the ball. I'm gonna hit a backflip. Put money on it. Put money on it. Put money on it. Put money on it. 
I can hit a backflip. You can do it. You can do it. You can't 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 do it. You can not do it you can not do it you can not do it they don't listen. They don't listen. That's 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 a free ten dollars. That's going in. The, that's going in the gas tank. Gas is on three dollars. I'm not even talking to you no more. I'm, 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 talk, I'm talking to the person I just won ten dollars from. I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna, no, you didn't. We didn't shake in. Treasure. Oh, look at that sorry. Ass. Look at that sorry. When you get in your bag. Look at that sorry ass blue team down there, bro. Oh. Hey, I don't care what you say, D. Bird. Don't say, say that. D. Bird say he like it. D. Bird ain't doing nothing. Hey, hey, look, look. You know, it's, it's, it's a game vibe, you know? It's a game vibe. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait till the new coach is coming, bro. Yeah. Oh, hey, what you gonna do to Terry? Hey, bro, I want all the smoke, bro. It don't even really matter. You're not gonna do nothing, bro. Hey, bro, I'll guard you 94 feet, bro. Hey, look, look, we look. So you saying that you lock me up tonight? I will lock you up tonight. Don't get too close, though. I will lock you up. I will lock you up. Stay over there. Stay on this side. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. So you locking me up tonight? I will. You sitting on that? You sitting on that? I will sit on that. Hey, how's your back? I dug on you. You back? I dug on you. <laughs> so, 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 look, look, look. How did you fall for it two times in a row? Oh. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> All right, bet, all right, bet. We're going to put money on it that you don't like me. Bet, I will. How much you want to put on it? I'll put money on it. How much you want to put on it? I'm putting money on it. No, no, walk away. How much money you want to put on it? I want you really make it. It really matter how much money you want. So, a million dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Y'all hear this? I'm getting fifty dollars, too. So, when we win, and I score a bucket, we can make it a hundred. If we win, we can make it a hundred. Y'all hear this? You owe me a hundred dollars. Yeah. If you don't, go me and give me a hundred dollars, I'm going to go to your mama, knock on your mama's door, and be like, your son owe me a hundred dollars. Deal? And I'm gonna give you Are you sure? Huh? He said, I will break your damn nose if you put $100 in the game. No, no, he slide, 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 nigga, slide. You slide, 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 you slide,
University of Texas basketball team won their first game of the year last night in a resounding fashion, 92 to 48 over Houston Baptist. Uh, our Jerry Hamilton uh, is actually at Dallas Kimball today, and he has uh, our Terry Morris. Terry Morris is a point guard out of Dallas Kimball, uh, and Jerry and he are in the library today just right after Terry's national signing ceremony with the Horns. Jerry, how you doing today, bud? Good, you inhaled it. I'm good, Bobby. Thanks for having me. It's just not the two best athletes I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, clear, clearly, one one of you, like some one of us three, also has more hair than everybody else too. I don't <laughs> mind getting a little lean, lean on the top here. Terry, oh, congratulations today, man. Please. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Trey got a tattoo, bro. Trey inked up, bro. God got me. God got us. Say me. Are we up in the run? Uh, it's up in the road. We don't, we don't, we don't do that handshake. We do this. Bro, I haven't even put the mic on. Let's go, two. Let's go, Keith. 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 Why? Why, room? Why? We gotta go all the way back out here. We gotta go all the way back here for the life. Keith. Wow, that's crazy. Gibson. Gibson. I got a lot of I got a lot of nets in here. You know they posted on Instagram saying they gonna beat us. <laughs> yeah. They tag they tagged me and Chauncey and it was like it was like uh we gonna Carter Carter gonna come out on top. I didn't even repost it. I was like we ain't even going we ain't even gonna do that. You know how small them niggas is. <laughs> he talking about some don't be thirsty baby. <laughs> It's about to get. It's about to get. You hit your what? Where you hit? He pumps it up. Cut y'all, nigga. Y'all ain't playing. Shut up. I'm playing. Who said shut up? Johnson. What happened? Oh. What happened? He said you a hoe. <laughs> bro, it's the second time they keep giving us the small ass locker rooms, bro. They're too big. Why are we coming in so early? It's not even halftime yet. You got a game plan. Whoa. 
The game plan right here. It's not even a race of Yeah, a lot. You took the money for Yeah. I got a mic. What you want to say to me? Are you for real? Yeah. You better not say you gay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know he's about to. You wrote this? Young River, yeah, oh. bro. Yeah, in my hand, bro. You got to do some real gangster things, bro. Hey, you got to do it, bro. He brought it in here. He brought it in here. It's loose. Oh, wait, boy. Nobody been loose. What? He came out when he go to Nigeria. I told him when he go to Nigeria, bro. Oh, that is gay. No, no, they can't save you now. No, they can't save you, Ask him where he's from, though. Hey, come here real quick. You know, the team. All right. I'm feeling good. 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 I'm feeling good.
Kobe right there. Kobe. Nah, he came with this spread, Kobe name. If I could find him, he said, nobody. She was like that hard to find. He was like, he got it. He got it. It took me a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, he said, come get it back. Nah, he was like, come get it back. Who said that? Mr. Morris? Yeah, Mr. Morris. 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 Hey, yo, Jay Cole's song is much, bro. Bad and bougie. My damn. Look at my hand. Bad and bougie. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Dre. Hey, so you be bad. Nah, he only, hey, you know he don't listen to them songs, bro. He be nothing. Nah. Hey, yo, ain't no more. Bro, he said, bro. Hey, so you telling me you never, you never heard a Jay Cole song? Yeah, yeah, I ain't cash out. So you ain't give you no. Heard, he ain't get no more money. How you heard? Wet dreams, fam. Oh, yeah. You ain't get no more money. Oh, shit. You don't even know what that means. My fault. Too big of a word, man. Too big of a word. My fault, man. My fault, man. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Gotta break it down. Sentimental, sentimental mean like Brent Fayez or something like, like that. Like like emotional, emotional, emotional. Yeah, he always playing some wrong way. <laughs> oh God, look. That, that, that might be, I... Oh, Don't worry about it. Hey, you got to remember that 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 you got to remember I've been kind of just distancing myself from a lot of people, but staying a lot of like staying more focused, you know. Been around family, been around my girlfriend, just been. I wouldn't say, you know, how people say locked in, but just more focused, more understanding, you know. I guess the the rankings came out and everybody is so shocked about the rankings, but I never really cared, you know. 22, okay, that's cool, but it's how it be. Do you think you're better than a lot of those players that are ranked ahead of you? Most definitely, most definitely. Top five at least. But you know, I'm not where all the spotlight should be. But you know, I'd be. Seriously, nigga, not locked in. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, Clemson commit, you know, 6 6 shooter, knock down, dribble, get to his spots easily. Then we got Trey Clayton coming in. Footwork crazy. Post work is crazy. I couldn't even get the word out. Post work is crazy. Then we got DC catching everything off the board. Easy put back dunks. Then we got me all around score, you know what I mean? Man. You got TJ, lockdown point guard, you know. Same like we had last year's Jane Blair, but just like a different different version of it. You know, get back to that. I mean, really stacked. We just, right now we just got to come play as a team. We, we figure that out. You know. We're blowing everybody out about 20. Check out, got three drills. Get some already. Got three, got three already. Got three. Got three. Got three. Got three. Got three. Got three. Good, good. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got 10. Got 10. Got 10. Got 10. Go. 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 Go.
Finna get tired, B. Talk about the game against Jared. Okay, so Nick, you know Nick in the cut? Yeah, yeah. He kind of put emphasis on the video. You know what I'm saying? How it was like I said, sorry, sorry ass TikToker. Oh, damn, it was Cap? Yeah, it was Cap. But I do, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do to blow your video. Oh, I didn't start that game because I have a different pair of shoes. It's crazy. But. I was on the bench. He had a half court shot to start the game. Like that's crazy. I mean, he can shoot like he can shoot like crazy. His jump shots pure. But the game, it was, it was a good game.
What's your mentality after a loss? I really go back to the gym, though. That's undercover. Even after a loss, you know, like I'm back in the gym or I'm outside shooting, you know, just preparing myself for the next game. Just then I go watch film or something. Just see what I what I what I could have did differently in certain plays that I messed up. So, uh, I don't even know what to start off with. Okay, so, favorite pair of hooping shoes. Let's start off with that. Okay. Fair it's, the, pair. it's the GGs, you know. The GG Kobe's. Unreleased, you know. Unreleased? Unreleased. These haven't even came out yet. Nobody has these. How do you Same. get them early? I'm the plug. I told you that. Okay. Okay, so, I think these are called... I'm gonna show you my exclusive players last. You okay. know. Oh, I forgot what these called, but you know. Let's see, yeah. first year's June 18, 1971. You worn them yet? Yeah. You see, you see the diamond on the Nike check. Let's see that? Okay. It's crazy. All right. Gotta keep, gotta keep the ugly uh, slippers on me. You know, it's some nice. Yeah, Gucci. They need, they, they need to sign them. Yeah. Cause I got another pair right here. Okay, so another pair. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep the forces on you. I'm from Memphis, so. This is what we usually wear all the time, every day, all day, every day. I got like three pairs. That's three pairs on the steps. Right. Chucks, you know. Gotta keep a pair of chucks on me. Uh. Always. <laughs> Low top, you feel me? And you know, I got the hot top ones too. Damn. Hot top too. I wear these a lot, so these are my go to. Uh, I picked these up yesterday right here. Michigan. Oh, yeah, those are tough. Those are Michigan. Tough. Another pair of fours. I don't really wear these though. These just sit up here, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep those up there. Then you got the elevens. Need to clean the sole. How much are those? I think these are Space Jams. So these are Space Jams. See, forty-five on it. Okay, that's nice. You know, race of blue threes. These are must. These are must. You gotta have threes on you. I'm waiting on the oh, new. I'm waiting on the new. I'm getting the uh, the off-white fours too. Secret. New balance. So much. You know, I wear these a lot. Cause you know these sometimes these go with the uniforms. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay Jake. So these right here, I'm not gonna show you that. These oh, are exclusive. Okay. They're exclusive play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, these right here. I think the, these not the Chicago ones, then I think these the breads. You know, this is mice. Ah, Jake, 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 Jake. Who's can't, that? Can't tell you that. Can't tell me? Can't tell you that. Okay, Jake. Okay. So, these two shoes are exclusive. These are, I just got them today. Both pairs. Well, these and those, and these two right here. Okay. But everybody know what these is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but nobody know what these is. Nobody really got these yet. And it's, oh, they gonna be fake. No. No, they're not gonna be fake? We don't, we don't wear shit like that, bro. You know. The Travis? Travis. Cactus, you know. Cactus, you know. Gotta keep them on, man. Those are tough. I don't know how I'm gonna show you these. We'll, we'll have the camera for this one. Okay. Yeah. So these, right? Okay, let me fix it first. Let me fix it. Let me fix all this first. Because I gotta show you. Make sure my shoes are on. Oh my gosh, man. These. We go. Sheesh. They don't even. They think these regular low top ones. These are not regular low top ones. Cactus jacks. I agree. But some. Honestly, I'm waiting on a lot more parachutes to come in. 
Where you gonna put them? You're losing room. No, I'm not. I still got this, and I got the floor. Sneaks like in a little. Ain't really too much, you know. I don't really got no Balenciagas or nothing like that. Cause soon, uh, soon. Yeah, I don't really got no Balenciagas. So that's it. I had the I had the these are light fours, the yellow ones. Yeah, yeah you know this. I got the Lamelo balls. I want the new ones though. Yo, yeah, the, the, the yeah, Rick and Morty ones. Yeah, those. But you know, tough. Well, I grew up, and you know how everybody else grew up through the hood. Usually, how everybody probably grow up. But I'll say it's more about perseverance. It's getting through the problem without really thinking about it. You know, as long as you got a basketball, a gym, and people who support you, you know what I'm saying? Anything is possible. But if you're willing to, if you're giving up easily, having problems with it, then it's going to take longer than you expect to get through it. But if you're more focused and containing your energy and staying positive and having a positive mindset, perseverance is the best answer I can give you. Did you see what they did to Cade? Oh, that's Cade, yeah, oh. I saw that. <laughs> they took him out of the game because he, he pointed at somebody. I mean... He got a tech before? Huh? He got a tech before that play too? He probably did. That's probably why they took him out of the game. He probably got a tech before that. But I'm pretty sure... That's not, that's not too major. Yeah. They act like it's too major. He's gonna get ejected in NBA too? Who? You. No. No? No. Come on now. I never get ejected. Remember my words. I, I never get ejected. You ever been ejected in your life? Yeah. Doing what? Wiping. 
<laughs> I'm gonna toss it to you. You know I'm gonna drill with that one. Here now. Here now. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna toss it to you. This one. I got it. We got a request. Which hand? That one. This one. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No, no, that's a toss. Gotcha. 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 Alright, my name is uh, Coach Rivera or Mr. Rivera or Jonathan Rivera. I'm an ESL teacher at Kimball High School and I'm an assistant coach for varsity at Kimball High School. It was the first time that I actually saw him. I didn't meet him that day, but the first time was in an eighth grade game that I went to watch my son against Stereo School. And it was the first time I saw that kid and it, it blew my mind when I saw the skill that he had at that time and the potential that I saw to me, it was different from everybody else. The reason why I do what I do is because somebody did it for me. If it wasn't because of somebody being blessed and giving back to somebody who needed it at the time, I wouldn't be here right now. So I didn't plan on it to be this way, but it's all, it was always in the back of my mind that I somehow I needed to give back the same way it was done to me. And it just kind of happened that it's happening with this knucklehead. After you take this shot, when you come, boom, boom, then I'm gonna pass it to you, shot from here. So, I'm from Puerto Rico, as you can tell by my accent. Uh, all I did when I was little was play basketball. That's all I did. Uh, everybody else was into anything else, but I was just into basketball. A lot of people, I found out here in this part of the United States, they, to think because I speak Spanish, I'm Mexican, or we play soccer. Little that they know Puerto Rico is just part of the United States. You can just fly it anytime you want. And basketball is our religion. It's like football for, for, for the people here in the United States. It's basketball. Uh, when I was eight years old, my mom and dad, they split. And my mom uh, was in a mental hospital and I was basically with my brother, staying with my dad, but my dad wasn't around. And Basketball was my way out. I remember my dad will just leave and I'll stay with my brother and he doesn't come back until the next day. But the next day when he comes back, he goes to the court with some hot dogs and some juice. And that's what I ate and I stay on the court and I, I just blocked everything else to play basketball. I remember I was like the MVP like three or four years straight in the island. And I left my city where I was winning all the championship to play for this other city, and this is how it went. They offered me, they, everybody knew that I wanted to come to the United States. So they said, if you play for me one year, I'm gonna send you to the United States. And I remember I told the coach, man, how do we do it? He said, don't worry about it, I got it. I used to get $50 a game back then. I would stay sometimes two weeks and I'll come back with 200 with clothes. I felt like I was balling big time. The bad thing about it was, out of 78 cities and probably out of 100 teams, we get to the finals. You know, it was the best out of three, so the next game we were gonna win it. We won it and it was hostile environment. It got, it got bad, it was fights everywhere. But that was something that I had to do in order for me to uh, accomplish my dreams. And then I went to a prep school, as I mentioned before, and at that prep school back then, it, it was like $19,000 a year and I was able to go there because of basketball, I couldn't afford it. And most of the kids around there were from wealthy family. So every weekend on Saturdays, they used to take us to the mall. And I would just go to the mall with money just to eat. And sometimes, unfortunately, I had to steal something. You know, it was kind of a struggle for me. So it, it wasn't easy, but my drive to make it was bigger than the sacrifices that I was facing that I didn't concentrate on the sacrifices. I always concentrate on the goal. Last year, my, I say my sophomore year, he really kind of just trusted me a lot, you know, because I was that player. You know, it's, it's rare that a lot of people come through Kimball and just be actually be great, great players. So just shout out to him for just like opening it up and just being more understanding to me like a father figure, you know. So I just say, 
you know, we got a court in the back, so I'm working out with him 24/7. Or when it gets too cold, we go to we go to Kimball, we get shots up. I mean, he does a lot, father-wise and coach-wise. You know, playing both ends, plus me and his kids. You know, so it's it's great. Is it hard not being able to like? Do you see your mom and dad a lot? Uh, I see my mom a lot, but my dad's in Memphis, you know, so, I mean, I go home on weekends, you know, because during school days, I need to be here, be more focused over here, stuff with my mom, but on weekdays, I'm over here, weekends, I'm chilling with my mom, I come back over here and shoot, you know, usual. When basketball was taken away from me, I was depressed, that was the only thing that I know how to do, living in a hood where I was living, being well known, being respected, so it was, I had an easy access to the real people in the streets. So before you know it, I was running, we call it a point back at home, I was running it. And long story short, I went to do a favor for somebody because they knew me for basketball and I ended up facing 60 years in prison. And basketball saved my life. Basketball saved my life. I always use basketball as a tool to teach life. And Besides basketball, what I really want him to learn is to be grateful for the people who are around him, to be responsible, and to always tell the truth. I believe with those three things and his drive and, and his goal and his ambition, if he stays humble, keep God first, and those three things, I don't even say sky's the limit because there are footprints in the moon. So. is not a problem with the Kimball basketball team. Agonizingly close to a state title a year ago, now they're laser focused on finishing the job. The Kimball boys basketball team ranks number two in the state. Led by Arterio Morris, a McDonald's All-American and a five-star Texas signee. I don't want to be selfish, but when sometimes I need to step over you, I got to click my tape. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's completely different, it's completely different. Last year, it was new for everybody, it, for the players. Even for me as, a, a, as an assistant coach, even for Coach Nick, he's never been down there as, as a head coach. So even though we have people around us, it's, it's never the same when you're in that position. It was actually a learning experience. So that's why I always say it on my post, everything I post or whatever, unfinished business because it's a sour, it was a sour taste and nah, I can still think about it and uh, you know, nah, it bothers me big time. So last year it was like, wow, let's see what happens. This year it's like, this is what needs to be done in order to accomplish what we didn't accomplish last year. I'll say be more, I wasn't really focused. I was just going through the motions, you know, just like, oh, okay, training, let's go. But I say just be more focused because, I mean, natural, I got natural talent. You know, I rarely worked out, but it's more of a, when you get to lead, natural talent ain't gonna help everybody. So I say just becoming more focused, you know, cause I, I tend to play around a little bit, but then I'm still hitting shots, you know, still knocking them down from deep, you feel me? Just. Be more focused with it. You cheating the dub right now. Mm -hmm. Play defense. Bro, you're breathing, bro. I'm not even breathing. Play defense. I need outfield and defense. We know you can score. 
I need one steal. One, that's all I need. Arterio Morris led the Knights to the 5A state title game a year ago and has plans to finish the job this year. Headed to UT next season, Morris can celebrate his place as a McDonald's All-American. Who that? Mitchell Arterio Morris. Ah! Baby bad yeah, dinos. I got baby dinos. Who are you talking about? Man, man. That's a Rex. Big, big dino. You got, you got, you said you got Rex? Yeah, T, T Rex. He said you got Rex. You said you got Rex. Dude, the big one and then that you walk. Like, like you yeah, take a step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get money? Yeah. What? No, the app. The app where you walk. That's the fucking no. time. No. They said we got like twins. Where you walk. It's twins. Who you, you and him? I'm like, oh, well, you controlling his. Now you controlling mine, not his. My Dre, dad, you know. <laughs> Dre, you don't even dunk the ball, so what are you doing? Bro, you know that, bro, oh, so I Dallas Morning's News came in here. Oh. Dallas Morning's News came here, and they made me do like 20 dunks. Yeah. And I'm thinking they take a video. Yeah. She was taking pictures. So I did 20 dunks for pictures. Then I had to turn around and do like, like, 10 more dunks for videos. Mm -hmm. So I did like 30 dunks for videos. Was Today? Yeah. It was funny because when you did the last dunk, you did the last dunk, you like, all right, bet, we finished, let's go eat. She's like, okay, that's time for the videos. <laughs> I knew you were tired. What you mean by that? What you mean by that? <laughs> that's how I be, though. But hey, that's how I be. I'm trying to earn them. My girlfriend got mad at me because she was like, it's an iron. I'm like, Iron. Iron, like, no, it's iron. Iron, iron.
get right on track. And now we got uh, Mon Bird the next week coming up. And it's a great challenge for the boys to step up and, you know, let people know what we are about. And if we pick at the right time, shoot, we're going to be in San Antonio. It's unfinished business. And I'm in. I say my mom missing half of my life when I was young, you know. So that that stays with me a lot. So when I'm ever around her, it's just creating more memories back to back. So. Basketball is a business, and you can't deny it. So something that I try to teach him is that everybody wants a piece of the cake. So it's his cake. So you got to make sure who you let around because everybody is not for you. Everybody is for what you can do. So understand what type of people are coming around you. And if they try to use you, you use them first. And just be true to this, be true to yourself. Don't let the success be bigger than your head. I'm screaming. I almost left it. You know how mad she was gonna be. You got it? Come on, look now, let's do it. Is it struggling? It's because you got nubs. What y'all about to do right now? What we finna do? We finna do some little photo shoot real quick. Something like he got game. I guess that's what he say. Yeah, we should do it tomorrow. Do an advisory, nigga. Yo, nigga. We got a jump. See that? You put them on? Boy. Y'all can hang on. Y'all can hang on. We ain't going to go right there. I'm going to sit on top of it. He got the D-Birds on. We do got the D-Birds on. He got the D-Birds on. D-Birds baby. It named T-Bird for a reason. Nigga, T-Birds. Hey, bro, take her to this picture. Damn. I like the close. Camera right here. I'm going to win blind. We got to look directly at you. Look out. Try to look out. You can look away. Wherever you want to look. Look at your nose. Right. You see target nose out there. Bo, watch out, bro. <laughs> you still going? Bro, you need to say like four weeks. He said like six. He said shotgun shell nose, that nigga. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, this is supposed to be playoff time. Oh, big man said this. Hey, come on, folks. I'm saying stop that. Come on, check it. Forget it. Step two. What's my name? Hey, pump it. Pump it. What you doing? Get the camera right. Huh? I know. Look at the angles. Lamar, look at the angles. Hey, why are you trying to touch my food, boy? To blitz. Come on. Come on in. Come on. 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 Come on
my side, right? Y'all circle around each other like this. Let me get in the middle. Like how y'all, how y'all look. Oh, how we hold up? Like y'all hold up. I'm gonna be in the middle. Damn. Nick, great coach, loves to win, loves the mentality, hate to lose, you know, you can't really, I mean, you can find a lot of coaches like that, you know, but, you know, just not having Big E around is kind of, kind of hard to, you know, fall, I wouldn't say fall deep, but just really just trust anybody else because, you know, the main person I was really trusting was Big E. Start making the right side. Bring it in. Let's go. Quick water break. Quick water break. One minute. We back on the baseline. Stay on three. One, two, three. Stay. Quick water break. If there is something that I'm proud about, Terrio, I'm not even talking about basketball. I'm talking about the kid, the, the, the boy himself, the way he carries himself uh, anytime he's recognized at the street. It's tough at this age to, to know how to handle it. And I look at him from far, and I think he does a pretty good job, you know, not letting the ego actually be too big or actually make him think that he's better than other people. Uh, not far, not too far ago, he was doing the same thing with other people. So now people are doing it to him. So besides the basketball thing, one of the biggest things that I can say about Terry is he's got a big, big heart. Big, big heart. He's a knucklehead, but big heart. Whatever y'all do, don't want to take it out. Secondary. 
Get to the middle, get to the middle, Jack. Good pass. Get to the bank. Two. Three. Four. Five. Get Terry on. About 20. Up in here tomorrow night. They talking about they ready for the stage and all that. Mm -mm. No, they not. No, they not. Everybody wanna go get the ESD game. See what ESD did to it. That's probably one of our worst games of the season. Get that game. You don't beat the by 20 points tomorrow. Because I'm not playing. I don't give a damn. We are 12, 15. There's 15 seconds left on the clock. Our pressing is there. To the end of the damn game. That's it. It ain't nothing else about it. I'm dead serious, y'all. It's time to go. This ain't no joke. From day one, once y'all step on this court, y'all shake their hands and y'all tell them y'all had a nice season. Good job. Hate to send your ass home tonight. You intimidate from jump. It ain't no more playing no more. When you step on this court tomorrow, these stands going to be full. You're going to see a sea of red. So they trying to do a red out. You're going to see a sea of blue. We ain't disappointing our fans. <laughs> Boy, you got some ice on your neck, don't you? Hey, mom, folks. Hey, mom, folks. Hey, mom, folks. Hey, mom, folks. Hey, 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 How was practice? Tense. Better than ever. It's okay though. Better than ever. Usually we'll just usually we'll just go through the motions. Get it over with. Yeah. But better than ever. You know. We got something to accomplish, yeah. So